Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So, one of the main selling points of KDE Plasma is that you can make it look and feel the way you want. So, a video on those theming capabilities is long overdue. Let's take a look. Your options. KDE Plasma can be tweaked in any number of ways. From the desktop layout with widgets, to the colors, the look and feel and the themes, you can pretty much do anything you like to make your desktop behave how you want. So, what can you change? Well, Plasma lets you change the look of the desktop in one click with the look and feel option. By default, you'll get a breeze and breeze dark option, but you can download new looks and apply them in one click from the settings. You can then change any part of the desktop look individually. Desktop theme, which will change how the widgets look, cursor theme for that mouse cursor, and splash screen for that loading screen you'll barely see when starting your session. But that's not all. You can also go and tweak the icons, the application styles such as buttons and scroll bars and the window borders. Desktop theme. This is how your widgets will look. By default, you'll be using the breeze theme, but there are plenty of other options available. To get more, click on get new themes and you'll be able to preview and download any number of themes to change how your widgets look. My favorite is the oxygen theme of old, with nice clean background and white edges, but you can go crazy and install anything. Cursor theme. This is easy. This is the look of your mouse cursor, from the standard arrow to the animation when loading stuff or the little hand to click links. There again, a Get New Themes button allows you to one click install new mouse themes and apply them on the fly. There are even some left handed variants for you to download. Select the one you want, click Apply, and you're good to go. Splash screen. This is the screen that pops up when you're logging into your session. Not much incentive to tweak this one, but there are plenty to choose from the Get New Themes button. Application Style This is how your apps will look. By default, you'll be using the Breeze theme, which is KDE's default, but it does look a bit dated in my opinion. You can configure Breeze as well, with a lot of options such as centering tabs, drawing toolbar separators or not, enabling animations, configuring scroll bar buttons or tweaking menu transparency. To get new themes, there are no Get New Themes button here. I found, on one of the viewers' advice, the Plasma Oxygen theme which is excellent and what I was looking for all along. You can install it from the terminal with sudo apt install plasma-theme-oxygen. There are a few others, but you'll have to look quite a bit to find them. Some examples include Virtuality, a modern, flat, black and white theme based on the Bespin theme of old, or the Style Project, which can be tweaked to look like anything. These themes must be compiled, so they are not that easy to install, but if you follow the instructions and know which packages to install to get them to compile, you can get some very nice results. This will need a lot more digging than the standard Get New Themes button, and I don't understand what they wouldn't put that same feature here with pre-packaged and pre-compiled themes that you could install right with one click. Icons. This one is available from the main settings menu. Once again, the Get New Themes is your friend and will let you download icon themes very quickly. Some icon themes will allow you to select from multiple install files and it is generally a good practice to pick up the latest version available to make sure that all the icons cover all the whole theme. Some won't install with an error message. I guess some files are not available anymore such as the core icon set. Window decorations. These are the windows title bars and frames. Here you can find a lot of options as well with the return of my beloved Get New Decorations button. Some might not work here as well, maybe because they were made for an older version of KDE Plasma. The one I found were prone to bugs with buttons sticking out of the title bar. You can also configure each of these themes with button sizes, border sizes and the button positioning. I like my window controls on the left so I move them all here. Window themes were a bit fiddly since most of the ones I downloaded had very little title bars and looked off, but I guess that with the Get New Decorations button you can find something that suits you anyways. GTK Styles you can of course run GTK apps in KDE Plasma. By default, they'll pick up the default breezed look, but you can tweak that if you like, with the choice of a GTK2 theme for older apps and GTK3 for more modern GNOME applications. You can choose icon themes and cursor themes as well for these applications and configure their look. Oh, and of course, the Get New Themes button is here too to download some new ones. Colors. Okay, so you've picked your theme and tweaked everything, but the colors aren't what you were expecting. Well, let's change them as well. KDE Plasma ships with a lot of color schemes by default, but you can tweak on the fly and, you guessed it, get new color schemes at the press of a button. It changes the colors of the selected items, links, buttons, window decorations and more. You can edit a scheme and save it as well. So you can really tweak anything you like, mix and match and edit anything. This makes Plasma the most configurable desktop environment you can use on Linux. 
but can also be a bit fiddly to find, install and manage your themes and colors. The Get New Themes button is great and helps a lot, even though some options are prone to crashes or don't look quite right. All this configuration can become a real time sink though, and I can see regular users taking a long time before really sinking their teeth into the options. Oh, did I forget the Plasma desktop layout and the desktop effects? Well, I'll cover them in another video since this is going to take a long time to review. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye!